Hello everyone, I just wanted to share with you an album I'd made for my friend's daughter, Ellie. She's an air hostess and my daughter wanted to give her an album for her birthday to document her time being an air hostess. So I've just used one of these spiral bound albums. You can pick them up from craft shops online quite easily. They're quite um, reasonable price to pick up and they're very sturdy and they're quick for doing albums like this this is the nice thing about them you haven't got to construct the album to start with so let me share with you what i've done so if i open this up so first page you'll notice what i've done through this is i've put just on copy paper and thank you jean for the loan of your camera stamp i've just stamped um folk like where to put a photograph and all I've done is stick these on with the Crafters Companion Dotty Tape Pen. I've just put a tiny bit at the back. That sticks on the photo mat. So Ellie can remove that and add her photographs. It's as simple as that. And then she's got the matting already done. So you'll notice I've done that through quite a bit of the book. First page, I've popped a pocket in here. And again, with some more photo mats. So she can just go straight away and skip put stick landscape or portrait photos on there so there's a nice pocket there there's also space for any memorabilia she's got from wherever she's been because she travels around quite a bit so double page here again this side there's a lot going on as you can see there's lots of spaces of photographs the photo mats i've made are ready to take six by four photographs so you can have them in the landscape or portrait and i've also put space for four by three or three by four okay so there's plenty of space for pictures so if we open this up again you'll see these can be removed so she could put um some land, uh, portrait ones if she wished and then this pulls out to show a booklet so you've got photos back and front and then when you open this up inside more photo spaces here so you can do landscape or portrait she can choose what she wants to pop in here so and that will go inside the pocket and of course the pocket being quite large you know she can add any memorabilia as well in there got a, a flat scrapbook layout here i shouldn't really call it flat because it's a nice scrapbook layout here again with photo opportunities that she can choose whether she wants to go portrait or landscape and then if i flip this over this paper was lovely and I just couldn't stick photos on it. In my original album, I have got photos stuck on here. But we've got a nice big pocket, again with photo mats, lots of spaces to add photos. But a big enough pocket that she can pop in again any memorabilia or anything she's picked up on her travels. So she can put photos on here and on here and on here. And then I've just put a couple of photo mats there. The cutter parts I've not stuck down with a go with the photograph so she can slide it there behind. And then the next page, we've got a lot going on here. Again, this beautiful paper, if I pick this out, it's just stunning paper, isn't it? And then on the back, She's got space for putting some photographs if she wishes. And then if we lift up the big pocket, you'll see inside some nice big photo mats. She's going to get two landscape on each side. And she's got two of those. So straight away in that pocket on here alone, she can put another eight photos. On my original, I put photos in the top of the pocket here and also on the back of the pocket. But the pocket's big enough to take again more tickets more memorabilia anything she wants to add and then of course you've got space on the top to add some extra photographs as well and then the card slides in and acts as a stopper so when the page is on its side it doesn't all flap about so it's a great way of having a stopper without using a magnet so a good tip there i've just done a plain uh, page here so i've actually put the stamp on top of the photo mats so the six by four photo mat photos will fit on here leaving that bit of trim so she's got that edge already that mat and layer there done and then when we open this page out lots of um 
opportunities here for photographs oh let me remove that lots of opportunity here for photographs but also nice spots for these beautiful papers to be showcased and the um little cut aparts the cut aparts are from kaiser craft these cut aparts and they come from a collection called let's go um i don't think the collection's available anymore but the cut aparts you can still buy they're called a cut aparts collection and it's a bag of all these little um cut apart embellishments all this type of thing um i picked mine up from paper maze and i ordered them online now with this page this double page you've got two really big pockets okay and in each of the pockets you've got a photo map that looks like this so plenty of space to add those photographs plus you can also i've used a punch here where it punches but if you don't glue the corners you can slide your photos in so it's a great punch to use if you're using original or old photos because you don't have to glue them down so in each of these pockets at the end you've got one of these big photo mats you've got four photos one side and four again the other side but the nice thing about it is because the the pockets are so so large there's plenty of room to add say itineraries um you know um uh, boarding passes information tickets menus anything like that can be added in these big pockets because these big pockets are the size of the page so then we flip over again i've done again one of those flat scrapbook layouts using that lovely paper again and i've just done strips and matted and layered and i've used a bit of glittery blue at the background just to add a little bit of sparkle there but these cut aparts just finish it off i didn't want to have too much on this page so i've tried to sort of do a bit of everything through this album again another big page spread lots of spaces for adding photographs but these are big diagonal pockets so you've got nice big pockets again. They go right the way down to the bottom. I could lose my hand in here quite easily. But big photo opportunities again. You know, she could put four photographs on each side quite easily or a couple of photographs and she could write some journaling. But you've got these big pockets. Both sides are the same. So she could add, as I say, all her memorabilia can go in there. And then on this page, I've done a flat layer again using these little embellishments from that um, collections kit. And I've put some of the um, four by three photos as well as the six by four. But again, these peel off so she can put what photos she wishes down. And then the final page at the back is a double pocket. So I've just again lots of room for photographs the pockets go right the way down so there's lots of room there for her to add any memorabilia she's got and another big um photo mat there again on the back one so two nice big photo mats on these pockets so it's just stepped through but the pockets go right the way down to the bottom so a lovely album i've had a quick count up and i reckon it will take a minimum of uh, 110 photographs so there's plenty of space here for photographs so you've got plenty of space for photographs plenty of space for memorabilia lots of different layouts so she can choose where she wants to pop her photographs so i hope you've enjoyed it i enjoyed making it the album took me two half days but you could do it all in one day and that is the beauty of having these spiral bound albums you can work with them quite quickly because the construction's there okay so lots of places to add photographs and her memorabilia the paper collection i did use was the simply crafts this is called travel keepsakes and it's a 24 page single-sided paper pad this is the 12 by 12 version it's 100 gsm and i've got 
one sheet left but it is great quality paper and i have really enjoyed using it it's not coated so you can over stamp on it quite easily so it's a lovely collection i can't think where i picked it up now but i ordered it online i just did a google search for travel 12 by 12 scrapbook papers and this came up and the color palette was perfect so i've got that left and i've got a bag of just some scraps and scraps of card left that's all i have got left from the project if you're interested in having a go some of these pages we did at our um 2019 retreat and i've done a video for each page to show you how to construct and put it together so if you are interested i will leave you a link over on my website so you too could join in if you wish so I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope Ellie is going to enjoy it. By the time this video goes out, she'd have had her gift. I'm not going to put it on Facebook before then because she will see it. So I'm going to have to wait a little bit till it gets delivered. But um, I've really enjoyed doing it, popping it together, nice and quick to do. And a birthday present with a bit of difference, a bespoke birthday present that no one else is going to have. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm Dawn from Dawn's Inspirations. I'll look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye for now.